Hey friends, welcome back. Today we'll be doing mission number six in the Wookiee storyline, Avatar. And it looks like this is probably the final mission of the actual storyline. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. Two reasons. One is I think I remember the final mission. That's a pretty fun one, or at least a pretty interesting one. And I also just noticed that this is all green, but this is yellow. So I don't know if that means I haven't unlocked it yet, which is true, or if it actually means like bonus mission. Probably the former now that I think about it. But anyway, let's get started. I forgot to mention a little something about this story. See, I happened to be monitoring the Alliance coded frequencies and I picked up my buddy's distress call. After alerting Luke Skywalker and Rogue Squadron, I flew to Kashyyyk, only to find the Falcon left abandoned in a forest clearing. I couldn't bear to see my baby like that, so what did I do? I hopped in and we blasted off to the Avatar orbital platform, Praying we weren't too late to help. Looks like we'll have uh, Lando Carizzi with us too now. Chewbacca's father, Adichiduk, could have avoided the trouble in Kashyyyk altogether. When he fought alongside Leia and Etchu years ago, he was a free Wookiee searching for his son, who had been enslaved by the Empire. He eventually abandoned the search and returned to Kashyyyk to look after his people. That's right, because Chewbacca was a slave until Han freed him. Now he was once again leaving Kashyyyk, but as a slave himself. Oh, I guess he was on the shuttle. Pect had taken him and several other Wookiees off to a way station above Kashyyyk called the Avatar Orbital Platform. Once the Wookiee was shipped off Avatar, they were likely to be lost forever. Rescue Adichiduk and the other Wookiees on the Avatar Platform. Platform. <laughs> Destroy the airbases to keep the Imperials from escaping, then bring the fight to Dark and Pect. Sounds fun. And yeah, not a, uh, not a base mission, clearly. Just a, a fun, full-on assault. Um... Not sure what he means by could have avoided the trouble in Kashyyyk altogether. I guess he could have stayed off planet, or I thought they were trying to imply that he could have like defended the planet better if he was there, but that doesn't make sense. Destroy the air bases before transports allow Imperial forces to escape, so maybe we have to do it under a certain time limit. Do not destroy the main reactor until all other tasks are complete. Yeah, we don't want to kill the Wookiee slaves, makes sense. And of course, Han and Chewie must survive. The Imperial platform is very symmetrical in design. It uses knowledge when scouting and attacking. Okay, good to know. Wonder if it'll be like a big like nine by not nine by nine, a big three by three grid. Surgical strikes on the missile turrets will make your air transport much more effective. Also very interesting. Avatar has no resources. Your only source of military units will be what you start with and any work Wookiees you rescue. Protect your cannons. Their ability to outrange turrets is invaluable. All good advice. Moff Dark and the Trandoshan Pact have arrived on the Avatar orbital platform. The platform most certainly has learned of the uprising on Kashyyyk and the impending Wookiee attack. They are probably preparing to evacuate and make their final shipment of Wookiee slaves. Again, if they just got on that shuttle and left, <laughs> they'd be gone by now. But no, they had to stop here for more slaves. If unable to escape, Dark will probably hide among the buildings of the Avatar platform. In that case, the best way to eliminate Dark will be to eliminate the platform. Well, we might do both. And I thought going after the palace was crazy. Your place is prison with tons. Alright, we do have uh, two cannons with some pretty good range. 17 range, and these light turrets at least only have seven. Let's check out the, uh, the factions. Rogue Squadron might be helping us out. They don't have many, many forces. Maybe they'll be given some a little bit later. Um... And uh, the Wookiee prisoners, I guess we'll free some of them and they'll join us. But yeah, Moff Dark is our main enemy with the highest points on the scoreboard. But not for long. He has a range of 7. These guys can attack them as well. And as usual, I would like to put these two in a transport so they're nice and safe. Heavy troopers, not repeating troopers. Hey. Hey, Luke, is that you? One in the same. We gotta take out those air bases before the Empire can use its transports to escape. <laughs> they have a, uh... Oh, because we're the Wookiee faction, I get it. How can I help? Alright, I'm guessing Luke and the Millennium Falcon must survive. Yes, okay, so let's make these guys control two. At least they have shields. The fast baiters don't have shields. Oh, they do. They just hadn't generated, I guess? I don't know. Maybe they hadn't been given to us yet. Alright, let's have you guys move in and help out with that. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll... 
head over here first. That seems to be one of the general ideas. And they might have some fighters too, so we'll keep our... Let's put these guys on guard duty. Can you guys actually shoot that thing while you're over here? Let's put the Berserkers. Well, they are not on attack duty. Let's put them on defensive mode. Okay. So we'll need some cannons to take out this turret. He has a range of 8. Okay, so you guys should be okay too. they can get there. I wonder if they can't shoot like line of sight this thing. No, because they just did that. They just shot that turret, so that doesn't make any sense. There we go. Alright, I wonder if we can actually shoot that guy as well. Not quite. Didn't they say air transports? But I don't see any air transports. I just see air units. Okay, let's split our turrets up here. We have another turret here. We also don't have any medics, so we have to be very careful with our fighters. I mean, the good news is we haven't been attacked yet, so okay, let's have you guys, well, one more shot, and then you can redeploy or undeploy. Okay, let's bring in a fighter to start doing some scouting. Kind of wonder if I should bring in the Falcon. There's the reactor core. So they don't have a lot of a lot of defense turrets around here, but these guys are not bombers. What was that? Oh. All right. Good thing we have some anti-air mobiles and, of course, Rogue Squadron helping us. Uh, what's over this way? Bad guys. Okay. Why don't you take them out? Hold up in the fortress. Aha. All right. We'll take them out very shortly, but don't get in range of those light turrets or the fortress itself. Probably head over here. Oh. Oh no, we lost a fighter. I got me. Yeah, that was my fault. We might be able to if we don't get shot by that turret. There you go. Very sneaky. Good, I like it. Oh, there's that turret though. Okay, let's back up. Like I said, we don't have a medic, so. Having fun yet, Luke? Okay, if they're in range of that, they'll probably also be in range of this anti-air turret. Oh, here come some stormtroopers. Okay. These guys. There we go. Good job, Luke. Just can't get too close to that fortress. Where am I? There we go, okay. If you guys will let those guys get by. They can probably start doing some damage over there. Let's take out these turrets too. Oh, they're both in the fortress, okay, well. Would have liked to have uh, left that for a little bit later, but we are here, so who's getting attacked now? You guys are getting attacked by somebody. The turrets, get too close. No, not what I wanted. These are advanced turrets. They might not have a worse range than we do. Nine, eight plus two. Yeah, it's gotta be very, very careful if we're gonna attack those guys. Already lost about a third of our health there, a little more. Now they're probably going to run away. Let's see. Okay. The Falcon has a lot of health, so I'm going to kind of use that to do some scouting. 
Let's see if there are any. There he is. Oh, okay. That's what I was looking for. Hey, we got him. How can I help? Good job, Luke. I think that was Luke. Might have been a cannon. Please, human. Man, you Trandoshans are ugly up close. The feeling is mutual, human. Yeah. I want Chewie to kill him. As long as he doesn't die. Ooh. 20 minutes remaining. Okay. Good to know. So we can't take all of our time. Hey there. Let's keep scouting. On my way. Okay, there's an airbase there, so we definitely have to hurry. Let's do a save. Has been punched. Good job, Chewie. Sure that felt good. But more importantly, it was the right thing to do. Alright, let's get you... Oh, I don't know. I don't know where the detention center is up here. I'm not really concerned about the war building. Let's have you guys take out this light turret. In fact, even you guys could probably take out this light turret just because we're short on time. I know you're going to take a little bit of damage there, but... Oh, stop, stop, stop. Should we head over here and just get back inside? Who's being attacked? You guys are, but not for long. Stay in minimum range, please. Stay in minimum range. Adichidic must survive. Okay, so somewhere we've apparently gained ourselves an Adichidic, but I don't really see where. Let's keep you guys kind of moving right along as well. Where are we being attacked? Oh, too far, too far. Turrets, too far. Alright, let's undeploy. And we'll keep moving. So the thing is, I think time goes by quicker in this game, like literally, than it does normally. Because like, right now I'm looking at the clock and yeah, I was going to time like, I don't know, probably less than 15 minutes now. I probably got to hurry actually. Keep moving. At least these guys are fast. Is there going to be another fortress here? No, just some turrets. Alright, that's not too bad. If you guys get out of range of that turret and then take it out. Sure. So far, we have not much, much resistance. I'm totally okay with that. Well, actually, I would like a bit of a fight, maybe a little bit more than we have so far. But in terms of our goal, it seems that our, it seems our main opponent right now is really the clock take out that thing and do some more damage. Alright, what else do we have over here? Looking for the air bases, really. Right, let's quickly take out that guy. And we'll have you guys on deploy. Alright. So there's probably like two more air bases if I had to guess. Yeah. I do want to kind of get some, maybe some air support. Over here. Just don't get shot by any anti-air turrets. That way if they have any fighters come out to defend. Then it won't be the end of the world. Alright, I want to have you guys start moving around. Maybe taking out that one. You guys can actually probably take out, well, there's an anti-air turret probably here, if I had to guess. Let's see if they can carefully take out these guys. Alright. Here's the prisoners. Take them out. Okay, go right out of range. That's really nice that these are only uh, light turrets. It's cool, even though it's a small platform, there's a lot to do here. Okay, and next I would like to get out this last turret. Oh, do not take out the reactor core. Stop. Uh, let's move you guys kind of around here. Uh, 
All right, let's break open the wall. And I wonder if Han and Chewie have to go in here. All right, we'll bring them by later on then. Right now their transport is a little busy. What can I do for you, Commander? I'm gonna have you test on out and just way. do some scouting. I'm just curious no if there's anything else here. They'll wish they stayed in on bed. my way. Probably not though. Yeah, so far there really has not been much resistance. Seems to be a pretty easy mission. I love that. There we go. <laughs> Guess we had to get rid of the turrets first. Nice attitude, eh? Yes, nice to see you again. There he is. All right, control three. All right, this should be the last air base. Not sure how long we have, so let's get right to it. Let's have all you guys help with that. There's no turrets on this platform, thankfully. Let's take out that one just to get. All right. If we blow the power core, this whole place will go up. The only trick is getting out of here before it does. Hopefully it's not going to be a real thing, but... Alright, we are in range, so let me just save one more time, just in case there is like a timer-based bonus part where we have to escape the platform. And you guys can help out as well. And yeah, looks like that's about it. And looks like Mando's done his scouting mission there. Remember when we were starting out back on Alaris Prime? Now look at Adchuk and Chewie and how far we've come. Get us out of here alive, Chewie. Very Star Wars. I'd like to make a note here about Wookiee celebrations. A Wookiee throws a great party, but when it comes time for him to hug you, Run for your life. Ah, uh, I'm sure I broke a rib. At any rate, Kashyyyk was free after a long nightmare under the Empire and the Chudoshian slavers. Chewie received a hero's welcome, and I caught Han smiling proudly at him. I even found myself grudgingly returning the Falcon to the old pirate. <laughs> I don't know what came over me. Wookiees sometimes have that effect on people. All right, a very nice campaign. Of course, we do still have uh, one more bonus mission to go. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a real short break. And then when I come back, I'll be doing that one. So thank you all for watching. See you again soon.